So this is a 10 cc syringe for 10 mLs. When you're drawing your local up, draw up to the 10. That way when you use it, you'll know how much you used. You can subtract how much you started with, how much you have left, and that will tell you how much you used. 10 minus 6 is 4. So you've used 4. You don't have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Started with 10. Still have 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. You've used 6. So that's one way you can quickly just subtract and find out how much you, you have used. That's why it's important to draw up to 10. That way you know what you started with. If you just draw up whatever you want, you don't pay attention to it. They use some. Now you don't know where you started. You know where you're at, but you don't know where you started, so you don't know how much you've used. So draw up to 10. Even if you go past it, now there's probably 12 cc's in there. I don't really know. If you pull it all the way up, it does two things. One, you don't know how much you really have in there, so you don't know where you started. So now you don't know how much you've used. There's probably about I don't know, 12 in there. So now you've used six, but you don't really know. The other thing you do is if you draw it all the way up, is you don't give them any room to pull back and draw back. If you're injecting marcaine into an incision, you want to draw back because that you want to make sure that you're not in a vein. You're not in any kind of vessel. You do not want to inject marcaine into a vessel, so you want to make sure you're not in a vessel. So you got to give them room to draw back. If they draw back and there's blood in there, that, that means they're in a vessel. So when they push it, it would go right in your vessel. Draw back to your 10, that way you can count it very easily. Just subtract where you started from how much you have, that'll tell you what you used. And then that gives you room, gives them room to draw back to make sure they're not in the vessel. If it's full already, there's no room to go.